Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This video today is going to be about the new Procreate features in the most recent update of the Procreate app for the iPad Pro. The features that I'm going to discuss are the drawing guides, the liquify feature, the gesture controls, and also the distort and warp feature. And the first feature are the drawing guides or drawing grids. There are four different drawing grids and with each of the grids you can adjust the thickness of the grid, the grid size, the opacity as well as the color. There are the 2D grid, the isometric grid, perspective grid, and the symmetry grid. So here is the 2D or two-dimensional grid and the cool thing is if the drawing assist is on when you use any of the guides every line that you draw will snap to that line. Here we have the isometric grid. The perspective grid, which for the perspective grid, you have to tap to make at least one vanishing point. You can have more than one as well. So this would be good for any perspective drawing, such as a space or a room. And I had used this grid to create this room here. And the symmetry guides, which includes four different ones, the horizontal, vertical, quadrant, and radial. And here I use the horizontal symmetry grid to create this piece here, as well as the liquify feature that I'll talk about a little later in the video. Thank you. 
And for the radio grid, you can have the option of turning on the rotation feature, which would be good for creating mandala art, which has been pretty popular recently. And with this added feature, it's pretty similar. It's pretty much the basis of another app called Amaziograph that you can download on the iPad. Next up are the gesture controls. There's about eight different options. I only have three of them set up, which are the quick menu, which if you press the little square button, those are the options that come up. New layer, copy, and things like that. The full screen, which you would swipe down with three fingers. And then the third option, clear layer, which you would tap with four fingers and it would clear the layer. So now I'm going to demonstrate the liquify feature by creating a background with random colors. So here's the push option, reconstruct, clockwise twirl, counterclockwise twirl, pinch, expand, and you can adjust the strength from 0 to 100% and then reset. So here I'm demonstrating the warp feature, which to me seems to be more fluid and organic in how the text moves. And distort looks like it does it more to like a certain angle or like a perspective. Thanks for watching. Until next time.